Hello my gorgeous ones, welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel, I love all things affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, ipsy unboxings, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, I have my ipsy and BoxyCharm by ipsy for January here early. Typically, I don't get mine until around the 8th and it is not even January and I have the January selection. So, so if you guys are curious and want the heads up a little early sneak peek at what comes in January's Ipsy, keep on watching. All right, so this month's theme is Glow Your Soul. So it's like a glow up, you know, glowing for the new year. That is the theme. And let's go ahead and get into what is in the glam bag. So first up, this is a really, really cute bag. I think this is perfect for January. It does remind me a little bit of New Year's Eve. Love the pink and the purple sparkly. Super, super fun. Definitely on theme. And I will tell you guys, I always forget to mention, I do get this in PR. And my critique of this, I always try to keep both in mind. As if I was purchasing this myself, what would my thoughts be what I think that I'm getting my money's worth. But then I also have to remember that my selection is not going to be the same as people who purchase it selection because I don't get to do the add-ons, the pick, you know, the power picks and things like that. This is just what is given to me by Ipsy. So some of these may come in yours if you're a paying customer and some may not. Just keep that in mind. All right. So first up, you guys, this is really funny. <laughs> but by the way, I've tried everything except for one product out of all of these, at, at least once I've tried so I can give you guys a review. But what is this? This is not how it came, you guys. So this is a product by Ren Skincare and I could not get it open. I could not get this off. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I was twisting it. I was putting my hand in a towel to see if it was just too slippery. I could not get this open. If you are supposed to cut it, there was no cap, at least in mine. So what I did is I cut the bottom of this and it's oozing out and I'm just stuck it in this little plastic container to preserve it. But this is the Radiance Glow and Protect Serum. Now I really enjoy Ren Skin Care. I've tried several other products before. So this is kind of odd because the consistency and the effect on the skin is beautiful. It is this kind of, let me just squeeze out a tiny, I don't want it to make too big of a mess. It is kind of a, a mix between a serum and a lotion. It says serum, but it's kind of lotion-y like. Very, very glowy. You guys are going to think I'm crazy though. The scent of this is what is so strange. It reminds me of like a charred jalapeno, like jalapeno poppers almost. It's it's a very, very strange scent for skincare. So as I was putting it on my face, I was like, why do I smell like jalapeno popper, like charred bacon and spice? I don't know. That's what this smells like. Doesn't really bother me. It's just really strange, but I love the glowiness on the skin. I will say that. All right, next up, we have another skincare item. This is Verify 2020 Eye Cream. Not a bad little sample size eye cream because eye creams can, you know, stretch out and last a while. So should be able to get maybe like a couple weeks use out of this, I would say. I really enjoy this. I think this feels lovely under the eyes. So far, so good with that. Now, then we have this... Toy Factory Ultra Set. This is a mineral niacinamide setting powder. There's 2.2 grams in here. I saw some people in like up like spoilers from a couple weeks ago of what could be in here. People saying they were really excited about this. They heard this was really good. You guys, it is chunky. For a setting powder, it is chunky. Now I did use it today and I will say the chunkiness kind of dissolves and I didn't feel like it was bad on my skin. Like I don't, I don't think that I look like my skin's caked up or anything. I very, very, very lightly set. So I did under the eyes and then just kind of pat very lightly in 
kind of T-zone area. So I don't know though, I prefer a more finely milled powder myself. So I'm not sure why everyone's so crazy about this. Pretty cool, it has nice cinnamide in it, I suppose, unless you're sensitive to that. So I'll keep using this, but I'm not sure why everyone's so hyped up about it. All right, then we have two eye products and I do have them on my eyes today. So this is the Downtown Paris Eyeshadow Rose Gold. So it's a liquid eyeshadow. So two things about this. On its own, I don't particularly think it's very special. Um, it doesn't show up a whole lot, at least on my eyes. So let me kind of rub it in like as if you were tapping it on. You see like it's got a really pretty sheen and glow to it, but on the eyes, eyelids, this kind of just disappears. However, I will say I used it as a base for the eyeshadow today, and I do kind of like it for that. Um, I'm not really sure I'd have to, the eyeshadow that I used today is coming up here in a minute. It was in the BoxyCharm by Ipsy. And typically, this brand, I'll talk about it in a minute. I haven't really liked their eyeshadows. I didn't think they performed very well, but I kind of like how it looks today. And I don't know if it's because I used this as a primer. Um, it almost looks like it would be a liquid highlighter for the face, but it's, it's a little too dry and tacky once it dries down. So I don't think it would really work well for that. But I'll keep using it as a base. Just don't really love it on its own. Then we have the YC Collections Eyeliner. Um, strange this is called island eyeliner so I thought it was going to be maybe like this color a teal or a blue but it's just a very opaque black I do have it in the lower lash line and tight line upper lash today this is very very opaque and very smooth now I had put it on my hand first before I tried it and it's it's definitely not waterproof you see like it it definitely smudges off so I'll be curious, curious to see how it wears on the eyes over time. But as far as being opaque and pigmented, it definitely is. So that is everything from the Glam Bag. It's it's not terrible. It's, it's not the worst Glam Bag I've ever had, for sure. I really like the eyeliner. Um, I like the skincare that was in it. And the powder was okay. And then I'm liking the cream shadow as a base. So it was, it was decent. But let's move on now to the BoxyCharm by Ipsy. All right. First up, we have the Saturday Skin Apple and Peach Gentle Cleanser. I did get to use this twice before this video. And I really like the consistency of this. There is a face cleanser by Innisfree that I really, really love. It's their tea tree oil, I believe, facial cleanser that like a little bit goes a long way. It took me like two years to empty that thing. I really enjoyed it. I've been meaning to repurchase it, but this reminds me of that as far as like I put, you know, like a decent amount, maybe like a dime size, but oh my gosh, the way it just kind of kept coming on the face and it, it didn't really foam up. It just keeps kind of building upon itself. And I was like, oh, okay, this is going to last a long time. It did feel very, very gentle on the skin. It has a really lovely scent to it as well. Not too fragrant, just kind of like a natural fruity sort of scent because it is apple and peach. Um, it does say rise and shine gentle cleanser. So this might be more so formulated for a morning cleanser. I did try it in the evening and I thought with double cleansing with a balm, it took off my makeup nicely. So I'll probably just keep it for the morning though. But yeah, I do like this brand. I've tried other things and I do like that cleanser. Now this is the only product I did not try out of the whole bunch. This is the We Are Paradox Volume Blow Dry Spray. So I only wash my hair once a week. I had already washed it right before I got this in and I didn't want to wait a whole nother week to do this video. So I didn't get to try this. I don't typically get too excited about hair products because I just, like I said, I wash my hair once a week. I'm not the biggest like hair guru, but I am curious to try this. You're supposed to spray it in the roots when your hair is damp 
and then you blow dry it and I guess it's supposed to give you lots of volume. I've never tried anything like that. So I'm definitely interested in trying it. Then we have another skincare product. This is Feel. I had never heard of this brand before. The Squalene Facial Oil. This is sugar derived squalene, 90% reduces wrinkles, vitamin C, 2% brightens skin. Now you guys, I've been brave lately. You guys have been watching me for a while. You know, I'm like vitamin C, like typically it gives me cystic acne, breaks me out. I just, no, but I've been brave lately and I've been trying some products again and it's going to take a little bit of time to see how this does, but I've tried this twice. I don't feel like it broke me out overnight anyway. Um, it is very hydrate like it feels really lovely on the skin squalene is so good for moisturizing and protecting barriers and really helping products to sink into your skin and lock in moisture so so far i like this and hopefully i'll be finding some vitamin c products that don't break me out now the eyeshadow that's on my eyes that i was speaking of before that typically i haven't liked their formula and i think it performed a little better today the mattes. It is the Ofra Signature Palette Luxe. So here's what it looks like inside. At first when I got this, I was like, because I've decluttered every Ofra palette I have. It's not like my favorite brand. I like their liquid lipsticks. Their highlighters are lovely. I do think that back in the day they were amazing. I think there's lots of highlighters now cheaper that are just as good. I think it's just, you know, way back it was like the highlighter along with um becca so this is the rodeo drive highlighter their most popular highlighter in here um and then i thought you know what i'll go ahead and just try it out i don't resell things that are pr so you know i was like I might as well try it and just let you guys know it sucks <laughs> is what i thought the mattes performed really, really nicely. They blended beautifully. They are on my eyes. Um, the shimmers are meh. They're very, very meh, which is how I remember Ofra shimmers being. I wish their shimmers were as nice as their highlighter. I did use a highlighter to pop in my inner corner. Definitely better than the shimmer formula. So I just, I don't know if this palette has better mattes than I've tried before from them, or if that base that liquid shadow is what helps them perform better I'm not sure but you know it's a pretty look it's not terrible I wouldn't you know it's just like oh it's awful I did also use Rodeo Drive as my highlighter on my face as well all right the very last product is what is on my lips and this is a little duo from Half Kate instant crush lip glosses so it does come with two and I will say this lip look doesn't necessarily go that well with the rest of my look it's it's pretty icy and cool tone and the rest is like fairly warm but the formula on these is very 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 nice it does have this sort of iridescent quality to the gloss both of them do you can kind of tell better here and I really like um half Kate so they're a very affordable brand so this isn't like well, I guess getting two is pretty good. My guess is this may retail for like $16 even for both. But I think the packaging's cute. I think the formula is really nice on the lips. So I think this was a pretty good, pretty good item. Overall for this box, I will say when I first saw it, I was like, this is crap. Um, because I thought I was going to hate that Ofra palette. But since I thought it performed pretty well, I don't mind this. Do I think it's worth $30? I'm not sure. I know that if you add it all up, regular price, it's well over $30. I understand that. But I just, I don't know that I would be that excited if I did pay the $30 for this box. But overall, I thought it was decent. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do any of these products excite you? Are you getting, I know most people are getting pretty fed up and bored with Ipsy and BoxyCharm by Ipsy. That seems to be the consensus that I've heard. You guys let me know in the comments and as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.